Hi, I'm Bill. And if this is the first time dropping into the channel, welcome. Uh, Lori and I are in the North Beach Campground, uh, Pismo State Beach, Pismo Beach, California. And we were checking our comments and Bob J wrote, he wanted to know how many watts we're getting from our panels. Uh, he mentioned that he bought a Balder 120 watt panel and the performance is uh, not what he expected. So uh, I shared with him what we were getting, both attaching it to our 2021 Winnebago Solus 59PX flat top. Uh, and this morning I'm gonna show uh, what we get when we uh, have attached these panels to both our Jackery Explorer 240 and we have a Jackery Explorer 1000. Uh, so I like this Balder panel so much that I bought a second one. And again, if you have any interest in these panels, there is a link in the description that'll take you to Amazon and you can find out more information on the Balders. So let's see if I've got the cameras and everything set up correctly to, um, uh, to make this work. Uh, on the first panel here, uh, the other thing is about 8.40 in the morning. So the sun's not up full yet. It's not directly overhead. So one thing about panels is, you know, you want to try to orient them to the sun at the proper angle to try to get maximum uh, um, watts uh, out of the panel. The other thing that I believe to be true is that when a manufacturer says the panel will do 120 watts, my understanding is those are under ideal uh, lab conditions with uh, ideal lighting uh, on the panel. So I always expect a little bit less uh, from the solar panel, uh, but that's just uh, my belief and uh, what I believe to be true. So, okay, uh, up front here, I've got the Explorer 240 to a 120 watt Balder panel. And um, behind me here, I have the uh, Jackery Explorer 1000. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and connect them. Um, first thing is this uh, Explorer 1000 is uh, 75 percent full and we'll come back to that in a moment and then let me connect this one and uh, so okay so um, I like to give it about a minute uh, to start to uh, input uh, watts into uh, the power stations. So let's come back to this um, Jackery Explorer 1000. Right now it's indicating uh, it's receiving 98 watts from the Balder 120 watt solar panel. Um, while the Explorer 1000 is 75% full. Now, if we come over here to the smaller power pack, the Explorer 240, Jackery Explorer 240, it is 36% full and it is showing that it is taking in 64 watts. So uh, something I've known uh, when using these solar panels is even though it's a 120 watt panel, when I am charging the smaller Explorer, Jackery Explorer 240, um, I don't get anywhere near uh, the input that I get with the um, uh, Explorer 1000. So what I'm gonna do here quickly is, uh, let's check this one again. Again, it is getting 64 watts. So I'm gonna move, well, I can't really move these two around per se. Uh, because of the type of connections I have. One uh, for my Explorer uh, 1000, it comes with the Anderson pole connectors. Um, but, uh, so what do, I, what do I want to do next? Okay, give me a second to change the configuration and I'm gonna switch uh, the power packs on the, uh, on the panel. Okay, so I've just swapped the Jackeries the Explorer 1000 is on the front panel now. The Explorer 240 is on the back panel. Let's give it a second to see what we're getting. So 
On the back panel now, the Explorer 240 is getting 65 watts. The Explorer 1000 on this panel is getting um, 87 watts, 86, 87. So I am going to try and change the orientation of the panel a little bit. to see if we can influence uh, what we're getting. And uh, ha have not changed it much. But, um, so again, the Explorer 1000 on this first panel, that panel's about uh, eight months old, is uh, taking in somewhere between 87 to 89 watts. And again, the Jackery uh, Explorer 240 is taking in 64, 65 watts. So a couple of things I believe to be true is the 120 watt rating or the watt rating on any solar panel is generally determined under ideal lab conditions and not what they call uh, nominal uh, um, operating uh, temperature environment because the temperature is gonna uh, affect um, the operation of the solar panel. So, um, and I do believe that the smaller Jackery, even though more watts are available from the panel, it will not accept it. It is throttling uh, the watts coming into it as part, I would expect, of the battery management uh, process. Okay, so that's what we have. Now I got one more thing I'm gonna do here. I, one second. I have this connector from Jackery. I've not used it before. And Okay, I'm not quite sure how this is going to work. Um, it's gonna take me a little bit to configure it, but I'll come back and add on um, attaching two solar panels into the big, uh, the big Jackery and then see uh, how many watts uh, we get. And again, just uh, for the closing out this segment here, uh, 87 on this panel. and 65 watts on the uh, smaller Jaggery. Okay, be back. Okay, so what I have here in uh, the box is what's called a Sola, Solar Saga Parallel Adapter. Uh, it came with the uh, Jaggery Explorer 1000. And so what I've done now is I have both uh, solar panels hooked up to the Explorer uh, 1000 uh, power station. So let's see what we got. Um, again, just to refresh, when I had the ex uh, Jackery Explorer 1000 on the front solar panel, it was getting about 84 to 87 uh, watts input. Uh, and now with two panels attached to it, uh, it's taking in somewhere between a 120 to uh, 122 watts uh, with both panels connected. So again, uh, the ability to connect two panels to my Explorer 1000 uh, is gonna allow me to charge uh, at a faster rate. Um, and again, I think that each power station limits uh, how many watts it'll accept um, when charging uh, because you know, with uh, both panels before, this one doing about 88 and the rear panel uh, was doing 65 even on the smaller Explorer 240, um, you would think you could add those two together and get 145 or something. But I, uh, it's what I believe, and I, I don't know for fact, you should probably check with your power station manufacturer, uh, but I do think that they limit the amount of watts uh, coming into the power station. So. Uh, 
You know, Bob, um, with your EcoFlow, I don't know anything about its specifications, but um, you know, what I hope to have demonstrated here today is uh, uh, that both these panels uh, have the ability to um, at least input 86 or higher uh, when they're connected individually, except for on the Explorer, uh, Jackery Explorer 240, which seems consistently limited to about 65 watts. So I think that's all I'm going to get uh, into that uh, power station, even though I've demonstrated that these panels can uh, input as much as 90-something uh, watts, uh, which I'm pretty happy at a rate of 90. Again, I don't know that I have the ideal uh, sun conditions here. It's, uh, I don't know what time, it's probably around 9 o'clock in the morning, so the sun is not at its uh, brightest peak. But um, yeah, pretty cool, this uh, solar saga parallel adapter. It was a gift with the uh, Jackery Explorer 1000 at the time of purchase. So I don't know if they give it anymore. You have to have both uh, panels connected at uh, one the same time into the uh, into the power station. Uh, so pretty cool. Uh, again, you know, I um, I purchased the Balder 120 uh, portable solar panels because I had done my research and uh, I understood that they would work well with the Jackery Explorer 240 and the Jackery Explorer 1000 power stations. And I'm very pleased with the performance. And it also works great with our 2021 Winnebago Solus 59PX flat top um, as uh, supplementing the rooftop solar, which is a 170 watt panel. So again, uh, Maybe Balder is not the best solution for you based upon what power stations you may have. Uh, but for us, uh, these have been working uh, out very well. And I'm very happy with the performance getting uh, in the 90, um, uh, 90 plus watt range on my Explorer 1000 um, uh, power station. All right, so hopefully this helps. Um, if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Really appreciate you dropping into the channel. Uh, we've got a couple of videos that we're doing down on this trip. We got one on the Senna Model R2 bike helmet. Uh, Lori and I have electric bikes and we recently purchased those. Uh, there will be a link in the description to that product as well if you're interested in exploring it. That video should be out when we get back home later this week. Uh, and then we just have one in general on this beautiful campground here, the North Beach Campground at Pismo State Beach in Pismo, California. We've been here three times now. Uh, we've, group, uh, we've group camped here with about um, eight, nine people, 13 people it might have been. Uh, we just really like this, uh, this location. And so we're doing a separate video just on the park itself. Uh, in the event you're looking for some ideas to where to camp uh, down the coast uh, of California. For us, this is an easy three and a half hour drive. Uh, so this is why it's one of our favorites. Okay, uh, thanks again for dropping in. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate. That's what helps drives the channel. Other than that, till next time.